Hello, beautiful people of the land and the world. This is Sade coming to you live from Covington, Georgia, helping you to reclaim your freedom. Today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I've never done a spiritual video before, but today this is going to be a spiritual video. And it's called How Hare Krishna Changed My Life. Look at me. I'm just a normal girl from Brooklyn, New York. Who moved down to uh, Georgia and I had just gotten back from my trip from Africa and which was an amazing beautiful experience that I manifested for myself and that'll be another video but I um, just came back from my trip and I was greeted by monks at the airport and mind you I have seen these monks before living in New York. They would be at like different parks. I think at one time I've seen them at um, Union Square Park and they were just like playing their little instruments and you know, they got the incense burning and people dancing around them. And I just, we used to look at them like, what are y'all doing? I used to really be like, okay, whatever. And I would look at it as a silly thing. So anyway, I got greeted by monks, these same monks, um, at Atlanta Airport, International Airport. And, you know, they have a way with words, you know, they're very calm and they came over to me. I'm like, they're monks, you know, let's, let's talk to the monks. So they came over to me and basically, you know, was having a good conversation and they had these books in their hands and, and things like that. And honestly, I didn't want to be bothered because I was like, what are they trying to sell me, you know? And I just felt like I was, you know, a sales pitch. Just anybody approaching you in the street, you're like, okay, what do you want? But I listened to them and what they had to say was pretty profound, but you know, I just was like, whatever. So one of the monks um, invited me to their spiritual gatherings on Sunday. And I was like, okay, now I'm coming from, you know, Africa. And then before then, I just was like in my house by myself and just feeling lonely due to COVID and everything. So I was like, spiritual gathering and they have a feast? Food? I was like, okay, I'll think about it. And so I, I exchanged contact information with him and uh, he sent me a text basically, you know, saying that it was him. And so I went on my way and I went home and, um, the week went by and I received a text message on Saturday basically reminding me of the spiritual gathering on Sunday. And I had like a little nagging feeling to go. Ever since I left them, I honestly had a little nagging feeling and I'm very, very, very intuitive. And I know that when I have a nagging feeling, there's something important that I need to pay attention to. There's something that I about that situation that I need to tend to or figure out or you know explore or not explore whatever the nagging feeling is is telling me to do. So the nagging feeling kept on saying, "Go, you should go, you should go," and I wasn't really looking for anything. I just wanted to go home. Three weeks went by, and I. Still had that nagging feeling and I just was like you know what and I was telling you know my boyfriend um, that I was having this nagging feeling he was like just go see what it's about and at that time I was dealing with depression I was dealing with the money issues after my trip I was dealing with COVID you know just all kinds of stuff that 2020 has brought you know I was in my house by myself not socializing just feeling really really down and so I was like you know what let me just go he's the one that pushed me to go and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go so I pulled myself out of my funk and I drove to Atlanta and drove to of course the location and I was greeted by a monk when I walked up the stairs and he said welcome home glad to have you and i was like it felt good you know feeling like oh welcome home okay so i went upstairs 
Um, I had to take off my shoes. You know, I went inside, had to take off my shoes, and he basically guided me to go upstairs and, you know, ask me questions. Is this your first time? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, sure. So when I walked upstairs, I saw a group of people, and the monks were in the front and some were in the back. And they were just sitting there and they were chanting. There was incense, there was instruments, and there was people that were sitting on the ground on mats in meditative style. And there were people in the chair. So I sat in the chair, it was my first time. And then they were like saying the, the chants. So, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. they were saying and they were like swaying back and forth and everybody was in this mood and literally when you first walk in you can feel the calm you can feel the love in the room and you, it's like eventually as you continue listening to them play you kind of feel it like after a while you end up kind of flowing with them there's some people that walk into it like what is this and at that time I was open spiritually anyway and I was just hungry for something that made sense to me. And, you know, but I didn't know that was it. Anyway, um, so they were swaying back and forth and they did this for a good 30 minutes. Eventually you do get drawn into it because they do it for so long and you just feel really calm after. So finally, the, the monk who was the teacher, um, he started talking and he started teaching from their sacred texts, which is the Bhagavad Gita, I think. I hope I said that right. So I had never explored anything like this before, but I just know I was just open, open to something real. As he's teaching, I think, I don't know if he was talking about reincarnation at the time or I can't even remember honestly what it was that he was talking about. But I remember sitting there being so intrigued like I had never been intrigued before. And I had questions that were being answered in that moment. And it was a beautiful feeling that came over me. And I just felt tears just beginning to well up in my eyes and then eventually come down my cheek. And I was just like, I can't believe I'm crying right now. That's how deep it touched me. And it was like, as if I felt like this is what I had been searching for my whole life. That's how I felt. And after he said everything, he left the floor open for questions. What I loved about what I saw was that there were people from all walks of life, rich, poor, middle class, white, black, Indian, orange, purple, didn't matter. Everybody was there. Everybody was welcome. And you just felt the natural love in the air. And I was like, this is not something that you really experience a lot of in the real world. It just depends. But Spiritually, I just felt like this just feels different. This feels real. This feels something about this is authentic. People were as they were in their regular clothes and I just, it just was different. So anyway, um, after he spoke, we, what we got up and we started doing a little chanting and dancing and it naturally makes you feel good too. And it's just amazing it when you don't even know what you're taught what you're saying how powerful the vibrations of the words are because i didn't understand what a Hare krishna was i didn't know what ling of course i know it was indian but i didn't understand anything that was being said and i'm like who is krishna krishna is the god what is what, what is this so i'm just saying it I just start feeling good. And it's like you're dancing and you're saying it and you could feel your energy, just feel calmer and feel happy and feel good and feel like love. And you can't even explain why because you don't know what you're saying. All you know is how you feel. And that's how I felt. I just know I felt good. 
And then after the dancing and everything, we sat down and we had a vegetarian meal. That veggies, ooh, that food was to die for. That food every Sunday I go is to die for, okay? And if you don't understand anything else, go for the food because the food is so good. I didn't know vegetarian food could taste that good. But anyway, um, yeah, then after that, you sit and you talk and, you know, and I ended up, um, I ended up connecting with uh, one of the monks and the one that I met at the airport. He was happy to see me and we just got to talking and I just was so happy that I went. So let me cut to the chase. How has it transformed me? Okay, I've been dealing with social anxiety for almost my whole life. I know at some point I was a very happy, friendly little kid, but as I got older, I'm not sure why I became more and more, not just introverted, but just like anxious around people. And I never understood it. And what I would do is I would just constantly drink, 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 drink to calm myself and calm my nerves around people in big, large groups. So, I tried CBD, I tried other things and they were natural, but it's like you feel good and then you hit a plateau with the natural stuff. And I would just get disappointed where I'm feeling good in the moment. And then after that, it's like maybe some, maybe a week or so goes by and I'm just like, yeah, like I feel the way that I was feeling before, before I started. So I learned the chance, the Hare Krishna one I said earlier, I still didn't know what I was saying. I was like, let me tr let me give it a try. What have I got to, to lose? And I, I was saying, I said it. Over time, I realized, and I would say it 108 times. That's one round. And I would do it on the prayer beads. And not even over time, in a short amount of time. My social anxiety, I can say, is maybe like 85% to 90% cured, which is insane, insane, because I've tried so many things and this has been the only thing that has been consistent. I used to like, my eyes used to like wander all over the place like when I would meet new people or I wasn't really sure about a person or I didn't, you know, strangers or whatever the case is. And once I learned that we are spiritual beings, we are spiritual and how not to look at, you know, a person's outer, you know, this is just a vehicle, but our true essences are, is our spirit. Once I learned that and understood that, my eyes began to connect more with people. My eyes stopped doing this. My eyes began to connect more and I would feel more comfortable. And saying the Hare Krishna chant, I would go from anxious to calm. Anxiety, gone. Um, worries, gone. Anything that I was worried about, money, everything was just like melting away. Just by saying Hare Krishna chant, not knowing what I'm saying at the time. Okay, now I know what I'm saying. It was not there anymore. It just melted away. I just felt like I wanted to get to know each and every individual that came across my path. Whereas before, I just really didn't care. I didn't care. Not saying that I didn't care in my heart. It's just that I didn't want to deal with the anxiety. So I just would kind of like, you know, whatever, you know. But now it's like, I don't care what race you are. I don't care what. It's like, I care to get to know you you individually and i'm just like god this is amazing i never felt this way in my life knowing that i have it inside of me but i never felt that way in, in my life all i would do is i would say my rounds of Hare krishna in the morning and then for the rest of the day i mean stuff still happens to you but the way you handle it and the way you you know the way your perception is is different the way that you handle th things is more with love and care it's like magic seriously i never I, I i i deal with law of attraction i deal with you know working with the mind and things like that but in meditation but 
I had never had something that was so potent and so effective immediately, especially when it came down to my anxiety. And I, and I love myself even more. And I love others even more. And it's, it's just totally like, from me being secluded and just like want to be by myself because of COVID and everything. And of course you have to still stay, stay safe, but I have a heart open now to invite people in and even have gatherings myself. And, you know, I just want to connect more with people. And this is the type of feeling to me that feels like God's love. And it's just insane how not knowing what you're saying again going back to that and just understand just to understand the vibrations of words and how powerful they can be even if you don't understand it it can still change your life like mantras can still change your life and i never understood mantras i just meditated what's a mantra like i i really didn't know and i'm just trying to get you guys to see where i was and coming into this with an open mind not expecting anything anything and how it's just totally transformed me even my finances got better i'm not even gonna lie my finances shot up like crazy and i'm not saying that this is everybody's experience i'm just saying i went from having no money to having a lot of money in a short amount of time and it was like god knew what i needed and it just happened I just go into things with a more calm mind. I am more happy. I am more loving. I am more like wanting to connect. And let me tell you, this is way deeper than what I'm saying. I'm just telling you how it's transformed my life. Uh, in such a short amount of time, I think I've been going for like maybe a month, month and a half. And I'm just not who I was a month and a half ago. I am not who I was coming from uh, my trip i have so much more love in me i have so much more togetherness in me i have so much more insight on life how to deal with life better despite the ups and downs that it has come with and i know a lot of people are looking for something that makes sense or that would help them get through every day, especially with us dealing with COVID, especially us dealing with all the chaotic things that's going on in the country or in the world. And this right here, to me, has been the most effective out of all the things I've tried. Like, I've been drinking. Like, I was drinking like crazy dealing with everything. <laughs> but now it's like, I don't feel like I need to have a drink. I feel... It's like a natural high that you have. You don't need a drink. It's ugh, it's so crazy. But just to, just to show you guys like how deep it was for me and how, why I'm so excited about it is because one of the biggest issues that I've had in my life that I wish I didn't have was my social anxiety. And I've tried so many things to try to get rid of it, you know? even down to choosing a profession that would just put me in front of people. And mind you, that did help, but at the same time, I still had the anxiety. And being uh, isolated and everything, um, because you're afraid of COVID, like, my social anxiety shot up being around people even more. So anyway, just, this has, really wish that people could really experience what I went through. I was like suicidal um, dealing with my social anxiety, hating myself because of it. Why can't I just be normal? Why do I have to go outside and, you know, just, why can't just be around people and just socialize like the extroverts or the introverts that are, you know, that don't mind socializing. Like, why do I have to be all awkward and weird and shy and all this other stuff? Because I felt like I was missing out on a lot of connections, you know? But this has really changed my life. Like, no other thing that I've ever tried. Um, I'm gonna cut the video here because I know I've been talking for a while, but I hope that you guys gain some sort of value from this and 
just keep an open heart and an open mind to something different because you never know that might be the thing that might be the thing that you need to help whatever it is that you're going through you know don't be closed-minded coming into this but i highly recommend you just give it a shot even if you just go for the food <laughs> just to see you know it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing and i like myself more now because i feel like my true self i feel like everything i've ever had that was negative about myself i just feel in the love within myself and god's love and i can pour it out to other people but i'm gonna cut it here enough is enough i will go to another video and talk about something else but i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and Hare Krishna.